Hi, I'm Noof. I'm Bob. And we're here at Better Music, and today we're going to be bringing you something new and exclusive. A little bit exclusive. Can I'm, I'm you guess excited. what it is? A bit excited, Noof. What is that big thing in the room? No, not him. <laughs> not him. It's this. Look at this. Katana Artist Mark II head and was a cabs. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So this is really exciting because the Katana head on its own, the original Katana head and the Mark II head have been really well received in store and whatever. Yeah. The combos, the artist combos have been really well received too. So making the head version, it gives all of the features of the Katana artist, but in head form, which is just awesome. It means that you've got cab you know got cab sim out you've got all of the effects that you know and love but the speakers probably what i'm most excited about is this speaker cabinet because those was a speakers absolutely kill they yeah. are so good so I'm, I'm actually a little bit can you tell them a bit excited about this one well i guess it's you know it, it, remember too that K the katana name range has been pretty formidable for what five plus five years, years if that five years five there, years ish yeah? so i guess we're coming into that we're narrowing sharpening we're, we're getting to the, the point the pointy end. I just think yeah. it. Look, it, you know, uh, in the trenches downstairs, it's um, the Katana range is still by far and away the most popular amp uh, we sell. There's, it's not even close to the other brands, and, yeah. and Katana has been on top for so long now um, that you know it, it's. It, <sighs> You look at the versatility. Oh man, the versatility is what blows me away with these amps. Like I've gigged with Katana before, and I'll uh, it, it, it's yeah. you know being able to go from a beautiful sort of clean country sound to you know crunchy sort of you know think like classic rock or, or blues rock sort of sound. blistering metal into metal. It's got yeah. everything in there. This is the next evolutionary step again. Like the last time, um, the last time I was in this room doing a video, it was for the Dual Cube LX, yeah. which I felt was the the uh, the next evolutionary step of the Cube range. Yeah. This is this is a serious step up for the katana range here with the artist head um like a serious gigging head you're talking oh about. my yeah, yeah, yeah. like it, it's pro level there's no doubt it is pro level so it's, this it's awesome potentially we're talking bedroom all the way through to the stage yeah totally okay totally yeah. easily easily it'd do it in a canter it's so it, it <laughs> canter. you I like that? that i like that yeah you're welcome now it, it's such a flexible amplifier so what we're going to do we're going to do something a little um a little different today too rather than just take you through the features and everything in the amplifier we're actually going to give you some playing examples of the features but also do yep. Yeah, um, back a few a, a few years ago, we did a, a, a classic 90s rock pack that was really well received. And we played some songs, we talked about the yep. songs and, and where we were and what we were kind of doing and uh, sure. around the time that um, the songs were released. Yep. So what we've done again is we're going to do, uh, I guess you'd call it like a 2000s kind of, 2000s onwards kind of classic yep. rock. Yeah, summer of hits. Yeah, summer hits. There's some random ones in there too, which I'm actually really excited <laughs> for. So yeah, yep. without further ado. First song. Uh, it's a rather well-known little ditty. Um, it's a Foo Fighters song. Um, do we want to tell them what it is? Or yeah, we kind of got it. Like, we, okay, we probably should. We're yeah, not flirting with them. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, well, it's Dave Grohl. <laughs> so yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Does anyone just call him Dave? No, no one calls him Dave. It's always <laughs> Dave Grohl. Okay, and Dave okay. Grohl wrote this song with his friends, Thank and uh, this is the Pretender. <laughs> Very clean. I like it. That is pretty exceptional sounding. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. Well. Strap yourself in. Uh, tell us about the IR. Like in the in the line out, you've got the ability to um, through the software change the mic type. Yeah. On the speaker emu like the speaker emulation. Yeah. So, um, so there's two different presets you can have in, in there named M1 and M2, or you can actually blend them together. And you can assign them to. Yeah, you can assign them. So you can have like you know the classic SM57. You can have like a UA87. There'll be all of the classic microphones yeah. you would use to mic up a guitar cab are in there, and you can have you can assign them to however you want through the software. And I think for that particular setting, that was a Neumann U87. Correct. Uh, which you know. Gives it that real sort of beautiful chimey, that and there's warm. A, there's a room 
that that room, yeah. that ambience. Yeah, it's really really nice. Sound. It's, it's not yeah. just a fifty seven right up against the grill, <laughs> yeah. which is again, you know, it's great for some Nothing things. Nothing wrong not with that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah, yeah, Foo Fighters Pretender. It, it that's a weird one for me that song because like I, I I feel like I was kind of out on the Foo Fighters by the time this song had come around. So yeah. it, it was um it was interesting to kind of refresh it for this because sure. I hadn't really paid much attention to the Foo Fighters after. Oh gosh, it would have been. The In Your Honor was probably the last yeah. time I, I really So this felt... is early 2000s, isn't it? Well, that one was probably later. It was only a few years ago. It was Pretender? About... Ten years ago? Somebody's going to correct us in the yeah, comment section. Come on, hammer us in the... Yeah. Go for it. It's Unleash. Def... It's definitely after In Your Honor. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. and that sound was uh, yeah. pretty massive. That, actually, that, that album... I can, um, <laughs> the whole thing is beautifully recorded, but yeah, and and that's the, probably what I'm alluding to here is the fact that I, I was so out on the Foo Fighters by the sure. time that album had come out, I kind of missed it. So going over this song for the video content, um, it was a chance to actually go at it with fresh ears, and yeah, it sure. just really appreciated. It is a really beautifully recorded album. That sound is just gorgeous. So yeah. Chris Shiflett, I think, was the he he came up with that intro riff, and he that's his part. That thing. So he's an absolute magician. Yeah, man. He's totes. A, yeah. So yeah, Foo Fighters. There you go. Thumb, that gets a thumbs up. All right. Second song. I'm a little bit giddy about this one because I really, really genuinely love this band. Um, stop it, Bob. No judgment. <laughs> oh, I'm judging. This is a safe place, Bob. Yeah, anyway, whatever. It's, it's Green Day, uh, American Idiot. And if you're familiar with the song, you'll... I mean, you probably remember from the intro. It, <laughs> it goes through a few... Different so sounds, it's got some settings. effects. It's got some effects and things in it. Um, so ideally, uh, the, the 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 main sound of the song is is a classic sort of crunch, like that classic rock crunch sort of sound. Yeah. But there's an effect in there that almost sounds like it's through a phone or through a, like, like an a old radio. Megaphone. Yeah. So what we're yeah. able to do with the Katana um, artist Mark II head and through the software is assign that EQ sound to that crunch rock sound and have it foot switchable yeah. through the GAFC EX. So the GAFC EX, <laughs> it has three different kinds of um, functionality. You've right. got presets, so you've got four presets. You can change it to um, stomp box mode and then you've also got extras as well. So what we've done here is we've set it up. So we've got the crunch sound, our, our regular sort of rhythm sound, but we've also got a button here that I can press to bring in that AM sort of radio sound which is That's crucial to that song. It's crucial. A lot to of kids song. won't know what that means. AM. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's you know opposite of scooping mids. Yeah. It's like yeah. It's real, yeah. really honky, and it's it's hmm. a it's a it's yeah. like Nuff today. Like it's, me. It's a yeah. really really fun effect and used used really well in this song. Yeah. Green Day for me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this band killing oh. me. Oh, but you know what? The things we do for work, right? The things man, we do. Seriously, no joke. I'm going to say this right now on record. Uh, top five gigs I've ever seen in my life was this band. If you haven't seen them, do yourself a favour. Exceptional. <laughs> I just wanted to start singing. <laughs> uh, could have started Go on, you're one, pitching well today. Pitching well. Could have started a one-man mosh pit. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> it's a good sound. Like, it's a great sound, that classic sort of crunch rock sound. And utilising that, that AM radio sort of effect totally. is so cool. Being able to do it via foot switch. And it's seamless. Like, you can't even really... Like, you don't even notice no. the switching and stuff. It's, it's really well done. Yeah. Very, very smooth. Yeah. Um, but Green Day... You're killing me. You are <laughs> killing me today, Bob. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, it's all right. It's all right, kids. His ears are painted on. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> the third song in the, in our collection um, that we'd like to present to you today. It's a song by The Darkness. Also another personal fave. Uh, a lot of meaning in this one. Um, I believe in a thing called love. It's a cracking song. Like one, of, yeah. probably one of the most iconic riffs of the last. 20 plus years um, it easily recognisable and the playing on this Justin Hawkins and his brother the playing on this is just Ugh. exceptional top shot um, yeah look uh, uh, it's it's great that this this was chosen this song because it's going to highlight a feature of the Katana artist 
a Mark II head yeah. in that it's actually got a separate solo boost now and that solo boost has an assignable delay. So you can have your regular crunch sound, your rhythm sound or your clean sound, whatever you want and through the solo button and through uh, the foot controller you can assign a, a level boost with an analog, a digital or a tape echo. Yeah. It, it's unreal. It's such a great feature. It's almost worth the price of uh, admission just for that. Yeah. It's such a great thing. As, a, as someone who plays gigs and plays, you know, has to play solos in you know, cover bands and things like that. It's a really, really cool so feature So basically, to have. we could stop the video right here um, because that is the best feature. That is really yeah, cool. It, well, it's, We're it, not going to. <laughs> no, Keep you're gonna watching. You're going to sit and you're going to like it. Yeah, yeah, so let's do some listening. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I believe in a thing called love. So I'll do my best. I'm, I'm no Justin Hawkins. I'll do my best though. So I'm going to start this one because okay. the darkness for me, it it's actually reminds me of when we started working together back in Pro Audio in Dixon because Permission to Land, the, the album Whoa. that that you know, song yeah. was from, was so new and so current when I started back at Pro Audio. That was very early. Two, uh, yeah, that's 2003, very, that was. Ish, yeah, around it. Yeah, wow. 2003. We old, North. We, we old, are son. old. Look at that's the grey. It's the... nearly 20 years ago. The... But... I remember it because that came on, and, and I, I can still remember the first time I heard the, in, the intro yeah. riff to Black Shark on that. I'm like, man, that guitar sound is monstrous. And then you yep. hear the vocals, and it's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, and, it's, and, but he's amazing. And, and man, that, that album is an absolute ball terror of an album. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, look, we're both fans. Um, yeah, yeah, great song, great sound, and the functionality of the, uh, the, the Katana Artist Mark II head showcases that you are able to play these you know, really big yeah. anthemic crunchy rock sounds and have that solo boost with the delay and stuff at the touch of, yeah. a, a, touch the, of a button. The fact really that cool. you can do that, yeah, do that boost with that, that <coughs> modulation and I think that EQ. Oh, there is an EQ boost, a yeah. little, little bump in the EQ, which is kind of cool as well. You would well. have heard that in the, <coughs> during the solo. So. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Excellent. Okay, so moving on to the next song, Strap In, because this is starting to get a little bit uh, raucous. A little bit heavy. A little it? bit heavy. A little bit. Um, Sliver is a song by a band called uh, Velvet Revolver. Now they had some pretty notable musicians playing on this. Yeah, track. Bit, a bit of a. I hate the term supergroup because it yeah. makes it, it. It automatically makes me think, oh. But this, you know, there's there's yeah. some there's some known people in this. Obviously, Matt Sorum, Duff McKagan, and Slash, and also who's, that? Yeah, who's ever Slash, heard of them? The them. Slasher, no. and then um, and <laughs> Scott Whelan on vocals. Now Scott Whelan, you know, oh. he was. He was uh, the vocalist in Stone Temple Pilots, great singer, and I felt like this band really, um, really showcased his, his. Um, I hate saying it, this sounds cringy too, but the charisma, like his stage presence. Yeah. I, I, it's I that Jagger. He really, yeah, he really got to sort of stretch out a little bit yeah. in this. And this song, I remember hearing this riff for the first time, and I'm like, wow, that's. It seems pretty heavy for for those Guns N' Roses dudes, you know? Like it felt a bit yeah. a bit heavy, yeah. which is kind of cool. It, it had me because I'm a sucker for a heavy riff. So yeah. yeah. The Mark II head with the GAFC EX. So the, the GAFC EX has three. Count them. Three outs for um, expression, volume, and wah assignment. So that that is massive. So you you can have your own expression pedal, bring in your delay, swell in whatever. You've yep. got a volume, which is just great for onstage tuning or for, for again, for volume swells. But the, the cool feature is having a wah pedal as well. So you've got all three functions set there. That yeah. is incredible. It's what huge. a great idea. So with this patch, we've got that, again, like a classic sort of crunchy rock sound, but we've assigned a wah pedal function to the GAFC EX. And with the Boss EV30 here, you'll hear what it does. Yep. That's the sound, you know. Um, and and just to go back to talk about, you know, you talked about their sound being so big for the Gunners guys. Yeah, yeah. Element of the, element of the band. 
Okay, early 2000s. I don't know about uh, uh, anyone else. This might be due to my vintage, um, but I grew up, you know, appetite for destruction, that sort of thing. And you're like, you're used to that kind of recording, that kind of sound. But then when, Vel when Velvet Revolver hit, it was hearing those, you know, classic players in a new setting. Yeah, with modern, with modern, modern recording. Yeah. Modern recording techniques. Uh, I think the amps and the guitars were pretty much essentially the same. I don't know. Somebody will correct me again. But I'm yeah, sure. it, just, it just felt it but like it, it was it, huge. It felt huge. Yeah, it felt it felt like a big sound, and that's why, like I said before, yeah. I, it felt like that that song because this was the first song they released as well and then they did that yeah. falling to pieces song which is again just a gorgeous yeah, song beautiful. but um th i remember this song when it when it came out i'm like wow okay this is something really cool yep. so yeah velvet revolver slither yeah it's all in there yep all right uh you were in for a treat <laughs> <laughs> i know i've been pro it just gets better and better but really <laughs> this is it i don't know where we can go from here bob but this is this is, you know what, this, chalk this up as a line you never thought you'd heard. You know, yeah, you'd now, hear. I, I will be honest with you, I have been mistaken uh, as the lead singer for this particular band. <laughs> no, it's not Smash Mouth. <laughs> Fred Durst. It is Fred Durst and Friends. Uh, Limp Biscuit, everybody. Um, <laughs> take a look around. Um, you know, enough said. Just stop right there and let's just do this, Bob. <laughs> the sound okay that I, was that was, i had to chew through that one hey like <laughs> but the delay on that like, yeah, that's okay. it so the de let's talk about the effect first and then okay. we'll go into what i just had to play <laughs> so again with the katana artist mark ii head there's a bunch of effects built in um so that one was very obvious there was a really nice uh a lush delay in there so so, lush. so so with the gafc ex um, you're able to assign a tap tempo to said delay. So there's up to two tap tempos. So just as an example, so we go... And then we tap one. We have a nice slap. Or you can... So very, very great feature of the um, the combination of the Katana Artist Head, uh, Mark II Head, and the GAFC EX. To be honest, any delay effect should have a tap tempo on it or forget about it. You probably should. The no. set and forget thing, it's, you've got to be yeah. brave to use a set and forget delay, I think. 100%. Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, hope your drummer's in time. <laughs> uh, well, okay, to, yeah. let's let's address the elephant in the room, North. Uh, I'm sitting right here. I just, uh, I just yeah. played Limp Bizkit. And you know what? I'm unashamedly going to say this is another one of my favourite bands. <laughs> I genuinely You're like, loving this video, oh, man. man. <laughs> this is just such... So, I wish I could play guitar. Uh, it's right in my wheelhouse. I can remember going to Big Day Out to see these guys. Um, yeah, Wes Ballin. Um, even right down to John Otto. Take us to the Matthew Zitch. Um All <laughs> those the, cats. But this was the song written for the Mission Impossible, uh, whichever Mission Impossible oh, movie was the, out at the time. Um, and it was their take on the uh, the classic uh, Mission Impossible theme written by, by? Lalo Schrifen. So this is the Limp Bizkit interpretation of the original Mission, Mission Impossible theme Tune. that he, he, uh, he wrote and uh, recorded and produced, I believe, yeah. And they still play this song. Yeah, um, yep. Which is interesting, you know, when bands do songs for movies or TV shows, they might pull it out of the hat once in a blue moon, but this has become one of their tunes, and it's yeah. and that sound as well. It's yeah. quite iconic. Yeah, um, Limp Bizkit for me, I was like, I was well and truly away from them and that sort of stuff. I guess by oh, the time man. this had come out, again chasing blast beats and double kickers and that sort of stuff. That was what I was about. So where's Ballin? Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right. Fine. Can we you... will agree that I'm right. <laughs> All right, another classic banger for you. Uh, this is Papa Roach. Do you remember them? Uh, I kind of do. I remember this song. 
this song was like it, it, I think it was year 2000 we worked at Abbey come out so that was a that was a fun time for everyone with Y2K and everything wasn't it but um, oh my look, kettle's gonna oh, my it's toaster. gonna get up and walk away Skynet yeah. style now yeah. I, I, look it, um, it, this song was like it, it was pretty big at the time it was pretty iconic and the, the riff is it's very very catchy what's the name of the song Last Resort has to be <laughs> so we'll take you through um, the reason we, we've picked this one is to showcase the contour on the Katana Artist Mark II head so the contour gives you a tone shaping where it scoops mids it'll kind of it, it basically changes where the mid um, where the focus of the mids the foc are the focus of the mids yeah. thank you North and it, it, welcome, it, it goes from like a scooped sort of sound all the way through to a more sort of um I guess a more articulate, more a, a throatier kind of sound, for lack of a better term, a bit more, a bit more chutzpah about it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So yeah, we'll just um, just, just have gonna... have a quick listen yeah. to it. Like it's heavy. There's no doubt about its girth. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty yeah. heavy. Yeah, I like it. It's a great feature of the Katana yeah. Artist Mark II head is that, that you know, it, it'll cater for the, the classic rock sort of sound, but it'll also give you that really, you know, heavy, high-gain metal sound if you want it. That, like, you know, that recto sound yep. that was massive in the late 90s. Early 2000s. It was oh, serious. you know, what do you think? I'm going to say, just for sneaky line, even early 90s, but that's, yeah, you know, those <laughs> guys. We'll get to them later. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that classic bit. The five one. You know that 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 classic big. The high gain. Yeah. The, you and I were there. We we played through these. Yes. You did through well, these amps. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty yeah. Of so them. you know, it's it's a great feature of the uh, the Katana Artist Mark II head. Now, this next tune uh, is rather. Uh, it, how do I? It's had it's. Bobby, you excited about this next I, one? I'm I'm fizzing up. <laughs> I'm fizzing up. Look. The most uh, maligned band. Divisive. Uh, divisive, maligned. You know, you call them what you want, but, you know, everyone's got an opinion on them, whether they're right or wrong. Yeah. They're mostly wrong. This band, uh, oh, it's Nickelback. Yes. And the, <laughs> and the song is too bad. Yeah. So, um, look, we, we could have chosen... Like, I, I, I really wanted to do this because it, it showcases features of the... Um, the Katana Artist Mark II head and the foot switch, but it's also they're good. It's a good fun riff to play. It's nice and simple, and it's a you know it, yeah. it gets it across. Okay, so what we're doing, we've we've set up the um, the Katana Artist Mark II head with um, a blues driver in almost like an unboost kind of sound with a tremolo to give it that the effect at the start of the song. So if you think of the the intro riff of this song, it's got this this kind of uh, it's really pulled back. Yeah, it's really, really pulled back, stripped back, but there's a tremolo kind of affecting it as well. And then it goes into this heavier sort of, um, I guess, the, the chorus. So with the um, with the GAFC EX combined with, we can actually go from those two, you know, like the contrast between those two sounds, we, foot switch, we can go between yeah. them easily. Yeah, so yeah, we've got that really stripped back sound, yep. and then it's just going to come through like a, yep. a truck through yep. your speakers. But also, we are using the M1 setting on the back so we've changed microphones for this one as well so you yep. will hear that okay so Such a nice sound. That is so. That, that's yeah. Sorry, I, I, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, what else could we use that? That's yeah, yeah. yeah. So Nickelback, yeah, the most, the most divisive <sighs> band yeah. on the internet. It, it, you it, know, it, yeah. is are Nickelback the audio equivalent of pineapple on the pizza? Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. And yeah. anyone that knows knows pizza knows that pineapple does not belong on pizza. I stand by that. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is going to go great in the comments, right? Now, look, I, I really like this band. I think the song craft, the production level, riffs. Go and, go and listen to Deep Cuts on their albums. They're, they're fantastic, you yeah. know. Get past the, the soppy radio ballads and things and yeah. have a listen to this band. Like, they're a, they're a sight to behold live as well. My God, they yeah. sound big live. I'm listening yeah. to music more critically now, making my own music at home and stuff. And you listen to production and their guitar sound is just enormous so yep. I, I'm, I'm in awe of that but then you listen to the riffs and things I really enjoy it so I don't care what you all think I like Nickelback yeah I'll give them a but I also like pineapple on my pizza so alright so so the last song I, I chose this I, I really wanted to do this song because um, it, it's super catchy and it's been in my head for like weeks now <laughs> like it's just one of those licks once you get it in your head you, it, it's very difficult to get it out yeah. That being said, it also showcases some really cool features of the amp and the, and the foot switch as well, but mostly the, the, the effects built into the amp. So I'm talking of um, the song 96 Quite Better Things by CKY. Um, and who are CKY? Kids, you might want to go to bed. Uh, everyone else, uh, it is kind of a generational thing, but these it, guys, but if you don't know who they are, and, and I know this is such a cliche thing, you know, that do yourself a favour, genuinely do yourself a favor cky check him out yeah it's it'll blow your mind it, it and they're a cool band like a really really cool and band they're nice dudes yeah like we they, they came they in the here. shop yeah they came uh, back when we were working at, at the other store years and years ago it was like 2005 2006 or something yeah, they came into back. they came to in a store and hang out and, and chad was really cool chad ginsburg was cool and jesse margera it's Bam margera's brother's band basically because their primary effect is octave. an octave that's, that's kind of their thing. Yeah, man, that that's their thing. Yeah. So if you listen to any of their albums, um, yeah, it's it's all over it. And it, uh, so the uh, the original OC too. So this has got and uh, this amp's got that octave effect built into it. So yeah, we'll just show you. Have a listen. <laughs> And that's that's the whole song. It's just that little. Such a cool lick yep. that it just gets stuck in your head. So hopefully, me playing this gets it out of my head. That was just a taster, of course. But it also showcases the the cool effect in the Katana artist head, the uh, Mark II head. Mark II. Yeah. Well, there you go. That is just an overview of what this bad boy can do it's it's yeah it, it's a super flexible amp lots of effects built in some great appointments to the new uh katana artist mark ii yeah. head um overall my my uh, my first impression of the amp is it's super versatile super flexible what we've come to expect from the katana range yep. just with some refinements and things very very cool and the inter uh, integration with the gafc ex foot switch just it just seals the deal that little solo boost with the eq and delay that thing amazing the um the microphone assignment at the back another great feature for direct recording or for and with the yeah. range of microphones yep. that it has built in yep as well very very cool I'm, I'm excited for this one and we haven't even touched on the speakers yet the the, the was a speaker so that that was a um the was a inspired speaker it, it's kind of like oh there was a speaker it's inspired by the classic greenback speaker from back in the day but it's just it's kind of made that but with way more um way more power so more it oomph. can handle yeah more oomph it can yeah. handle the it can handle the volume that those older speakers yeah you know they're only 20 or 25 watt speakers generally they couldn't quite handle that was yeah. part of the charm was that they were pushed to the brink yeah and gave yeah. you that sound so when they developed the was a speaker it gave it that they they found a way to sort of give you that but with way more capacity for volume and low yeah. end and that sort of thing so it's, these speakers are phenomenal so I'm, I'm really excited about them too man when you want to use this live which you can yeah i mean yeah, you want that sound. Yeah, if you want that classic EL34 spongy sound, or you want that, oh, that, that bulldozer 6L6, they're going to do it. They'll handle that low 100%. end. They'll handle everything you throw at them. And the that's fundamentals are there. Yep, exactly right. So, look, first impressions, very impressed with the new Katana mm. Artist Mark II head. Well done, boss. Well done. Well done, boss. 
Yeah, we love it. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, hit us up below. Uh, you can get us to the usual channels. You can uh, hit us up on live chat at www.bettermusic.com.au. You can call us. You can come and see us in store. Uh, these amps are going to be awesome. I can't wait to get them in store, the heads and the cabs. I'm really excited for yeah. this. So if you have any questions, hit us up. In the comments section below, don't forget yeah. to... And don't forget to like and subscribe. So if you like and subscribe, you'll get notifications when we release new content. We're always uploading content here, yep. whether it's guitar related, pianos, drums, whatever. There's always stuff coming out. So make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you really like how Bob and I look in 4K, definitely like and subscribe. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks to our friends at, at Boss. Thank you, Nuff. Thank you, Bob. All right. And rock on. Hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, 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 where are you going? Hey, 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 hey mate, hey. sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. you listening? Tell them okay, what. so we actually forgot to highlight one of the reasons we're here, and that is these patches are going to be available for download for you. So like the 90s pack we did earlier, um, you will have access to these sounds that, that we've created. Um, you just get online and download it, away you go. They're free. You're welcome.